Hey everybody, I'm Steve with Adventure Outdoors and those of you who watch my videos know that over the last few months I have been involved with a monthly kayak fishing challenge. It's a group of kayak anglers on YouTube who go out and over a 24 hour period try to catch the most species of fish possible. Now this group was organized by Justin Johnston of the Kayak Catfish YouTube channel. Now he invited me, we've been going strong, the competition is over at the end of August, but today I've got something sort of special, um, I didn't really have a lot going on, but um, I'm going to actually sit down with Justin Johnson for a one-on-one -on -one personal interview. Uh, I, I got a phone call from him last night. He was at some tournament and he was um, he was at the Greyhound bus station in, in Charlotte and apparently he was a little low on cash. So uh, I got this text pretty late and asked if he could stay with me tonight and maybe I could get him back to the uh, bus station tomorrow to get him back to Tennessee so um, you know I, I really didn't mind doing that uh, I, I do consider him um, a friend so I went and got him and uh, last night we did do the interview I got him back to the bus station now but uh, today's video is going to be all about that personal one-on-one -on -one interview with Justin those of you not familiar with Justin, he uh, he actually does luck into some fish every now and then. So let me show you just some quick highlights so you know who I'm talking about. You know, everything was cool when we started the group, but about a month in after we all started posting videos, um, Justin kind of turned into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He was all, you know, Southern boy, all shook, y'all, you know, all this kind of stuff. But then it wasn't long after that that uh, he kind of turned into a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde character and literally uh, his personality changed like he's some kind of schizo. He started throwing insults, he started bashing me. You know, I understand why he wanted me into the group in the first place. You know, the, the group needed a strong leader. They needed an alpha like myself um, to provide leadership and to give the group itself legitimacy. But uh, Justin started behaving in such a way, um, like a like a like a little chihuahua that just nips at your at, at your ankle until you've had enough of that crap. Oh yeah, it started getting worse too. In some kind of weird effort, I guess to appease his very small fan base, he actually sent me his jock strap. Yeah, that's right. Sent me his freaking jock strap. I thought. I would give you my actual chalk strap. Enjoy! Exclamation mark. Signed, your biggest fan, Justin. He's gonna love this! He's just about to cross the line with this. Just about to cross the freaking line with that. Then, made fun of my woo. Hey all you alpha males, it's Steve from Adventure Outdoors. You know, I'm not half the fisherman that Justin is, especially when Mark Patterson isn't guiding me. Woo! Hey YouTube, it's the ultimate alpha male, Steve Sharon with Adventure Outdoors. Woo! Hey man, did you see his latest video? No, no, just the Justin guy. Kayak catfish on YouTube. Now, did you see the latest video? He made fun of my woo. Yeah! He had the nerve to make fun of my woo. Man, I freaking had it with that guy. What? What's wrong? I'm going to Tennessee. I'm going to kick Justin Johnson's ass. Calm down. Calm down. 
He made fun of my wood. Let's go inside and watch some Andy Griffith reruns. Oh. Oh. Hey, Justin, I want to thank you for sitting down with me for this interview. I mean, hey, I can't get you back to the bus station until tomorrow morning anyway, so we might as well do this, right? Cut me! Cut me! Cut me! You know, I think it's pretty cool that we met on YouTube and got to know each other and kind of became semi-friends. I like your channel. I do, but you kind of... You kind of intimidate me because you're one of them alpha male things and I'm not. What would you say is your number one tip for catching big catfish? My number one tip would be to wear the same clothes every time you go, you go fishing no matter what. Because you know when you have a good day catfish fishing if you wear the, th the same clothes all the time, you can use old footage and no one knows the difference. <laughs> it's, a, it's what I do. <laughs> I like to reel them in. I just reel them in. Just this year, I got into catfishing myself. I know you watch my videos and, you know, I think you're that one person that does the thumbs down, but that, that's, another, that's another story. What do you think of my catfishing videos? I like watching you catch catfish because when you catch a big catfish, you just, you just take one arm because you got big old muscles. You take one arm and just lift him up into the kayak. I can't do that. Cause I got little bitty arms and what I have to stand up and I have to lift the, the catfish into the boat with me. But I like watching you catch big catfishes too. Too. Hey, hey, what, what's this thing right here? What is that? It looks like a match. Oh my God! Oh my, oh my, it won't go out. It won't go. Okay. Next question. You got something to say to me now about that jock strap incident to my face? What's a jock strap? I'm a jock strap. I thought, I thought that this was one of those things that you put over your head when you were cutting your grass and everything was all dusty outside. I thought it was some put it over your over your face and it took it keep the dust out from your mouth and everything. I, I thought that's what that was. Hey, would you mind if I do, do something? When I was waiting for you to pick me up at the Greyhound bus station, I wrote a song. <laughs> yeah, it's about catfish, believe it or not. <laughs> would you mind? If, if I sung it during this interview. Okay, okay, all right. I got the words right up here because I just wrote, wrote it and I haven't memorized it yet. So I'm going to sing it and I got, I brought my own music to, to accompany me with, okay? So I got my music. <laughs> I think you're going to like the song. <laughs> All right, here goes. I like big fish, and I cannot lie. You other fishermen can't deny when a fish puts up at the bottom of a lake, 
in your toes, then in your face, you get hung and you pull up huh? and you pull up huh? cause you know that catfish is stuck. Deep in that water, it be pulling. This fish is big and I ain't fooling. Oh baby, get into my yak. Catching catfish is like being on crack. To catch catfish, I don't need no manual. Adventure Outdoors, it's my favorite channel.